thank you so much for giving your time and it is always a pleasure to interact with the people who have actually got into the field of data science right it means a lot a lot of people want to get into the field of data science but only a few of them get into uh, this field actually in reality so ravi given that you are from non it background and given that you have management background how did you feel and uh, how did you actually get into this field of data science yeah so my transition from uh, a non it background uh, to it happened in couple of steps the first step was when the world of digital marketing was uh, quite happening i was hearing everywhere uh, how like google ads has changed the way and uh, there is something called google adwords google analytics now it is only called google ads back in the day it used to be called as adwords adsense all that so i got into that level of analytics and i started understanding how it works and these things came to me quite naturally so i am a i have an engineering background and i did an mba as well but for some reason uh, i kind of maneuvered more towards the sales kind of roles or marketing kind of roles in organizations but uh, with respect to number crunching or with respect to doing uh uh what should i say the analytical mind that was very much alive within me uh somehow i never got to use it and when i saw google analytics for the first time i felt like these things came naturally to me and that is when i voluntarily began uh studying them on my own luckily they did not need any coaching and all so i went to google zone website his own academy and started doing those courses on my own and uh, first i made a transition into uh, digital marketing from my existing job and uh, when i was doing digital marketing and that is when i heard a lot uh, slowly about data science uh, how people also predict the outcomes not just uh, uh, you know bring in leads and say okay these are the leads uh, now go work with it which is what fairly digital marketing does Mm, data science also was able to predict the success of each of those leads okay predict some of the organizational outcomes uh, basing on huge data that is uh, available today uh, getting recorded every minute and second as we speak using that kind of data and trying to anticipate the outcomes broad or small whatever uh, any 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 uh, 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 not just key insights but uh, a- any uh, surgical uh, steps that need to be taken everything and then suddenly it was like i just scratched at the surface through digital marketing there is still quite a lot under the world of analytics that i could explore and then i started uh, understanding what exactly this has for me what kind of uh, uh you know studying happens under this and w- w- what does a person do in these kind of roles and that inquisitiveness uh, uh, pushed me uh, towards uh, excler which i believe was the old name of uh, 360 dg but yeah that's why i came to you guys i said okay what background do i need to have to get into this course you said you could be anything uh as long as you are not uncomfortable with maths i remember for this one so and then that is how i landed here uh so there are many people like me out there who probably uh, might not be enjoying their job much and all so they can give it a shot if if you start analytics and you think like this is coming to you naturally then just forget what you are doing and invest your time here is what i would say Absolutely, Ravi. Well said. And Ravi, one more thing is you were with us on the Trujet project, if I remember, and you came along with us to the climb. And based on your recommendations, I should say that there was a flight which they have started from, I think, uh, Hyderabad to Indore, right? That was a very wow. good thing. And oh yeah, and uh, I, I really liked the way you worked, Ravi, on that particular project. Uh, you were very very diligently working you were sharing a lot of uh, thorough analytics surrounding that and that is one reason why we thought 
okay rather than we go to the client why don't we have ravi come and represent because he worked on that project and he has done those uh, amazing analytics right so what is your take on that did it actually help you the live project that you have worked with us absolutely okay anyone in the industry who is sharing you real time data and asking you to solve a problem for him is like gold uh there are many data sets with which we do analytics uh, in r or python most of them are practice data sets and you start seeing going as high as 85 89 90 i'm mean into say 0.85 point eight, whatever it is this doesn't happen in the real world even a 0.6 to 0.7 sells like gold uh, today in the company where i work we are okay sometimes if if the adjusted r square is as low as 0.4 also okay uh, that is how it is and and that is what real world data you know teaches you that uh, uh, the validation that we use uh, is not necessarily uh, uh, the benchmark for you to choose a uh, corrective action but uh, there is so much more open to analysis and so much more open to knowledge when you when you uh, acquire the domain knowledge you know that even the correlation is slightly low or the adjusted r squares are not coming well or in your logistic regression uh, the false uh, false positives are too many still you would take it the cost may increase but still uh, the advantage of that avoiding a false negative even at such high cost you will take it so uh, this is where the thing changes between institute and a uh, industry project then what happened in twojet was something similar we we initially tried linear programming to see if if uh, uh, to, uh, what could be the best cost efficient way for them to manage uh, both their flights as well as uh, logistics because these these carriers uh, also need to fly with uh, enough load factor and at the same time they cannot be idle so this was one way of utilizing all the available uh, aircrafts and making the maximum money for them then we also have a constraint of load factor where not a flight is running on uh, routes on which there is no promage all these questions came to us. there are many of these routes that are uh, coming under udan where the government is willing to subsidize uh, 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 g- give them the advantage for running a flight on those kind of routes so suggest as a route where we uh, we want to just understand at how much risk we are if we start a route from point a to point b instead of point a to point c that's how the entire discussion transpired so they have so many requirements uh, on one side optimization of routes on another side uh, coming up with a program where we uh, streamline uh, taking load factors into account and come up with a program of running the uh, flight network all that and the third one was totally come up with a new route suggestion uh, whether it should be between hyderabad shirdi or it should be hyderabad indore etc etc and and uh, we took all the constraints like maximum time a atr uh, a carrier can fly and when it into it into a particular analytics kind of a problem it showed that this route has a potential of being profitable to the air carrier the the analytics uh, uh, solution did not require a big algorithm to solve it it was a very simple algorithm but but understanding the data and converting it into that analytics problem was the real beauty of it so when when we go there as consulting people and understand that and deliver that to them uh, that is when they give us a lot of respect so i uh, that man's respect towards us changed between the first and the second and third meeting gradually because we started giving him uh, some really likable insights so 
that was a brilliant experience it it gave me a lot of confidence when i walked into interviews because i know there is a real problem on which i did something absolutely ravi and you directly interacted with the cco chief commercial officer and the cfo chief financial officer yeah right and uh, hope you yeah. remember that yeah. so real world experiences help a lot and as we speak now we are doing projects for the likes of volvo and uh, we are extremely happy that on the consulting front we are growing extremely strong and uh, ravi if i were to ask you uh, one suggestion only one suggestion on what would that be uh, what would that one suggestion be for our audience our participants our students on how to get into this field of data science then what would that be ravi because you being from non it background from management background you have gotten into novartis which is into pharmacy ph- pharmacy right which means a lot at least for a lot of people it means a lot so what what would that one suggestion be ravi and i think uh, ravi is uh, reconnecting because uh, he has some uh, i see the uh, light network issue yeah you are back ravi uh, you are on Bar- barney uh, sorry i had a yeah i had a slight glitch uh, uh, i am back w- would you be kind to repeat that question so what would the one suggestion be for our students and participants who are undergoing the training to get into this field of data science just one most important suggestion so uh i i still am i still am having glitches but let me let me see uh, if i have captured what you said right so what are you saying is uh, you have lot of students who are still undergoing these courses and what is the best way for them to attack these kind of uh, problems that are already existing around us uh, approach them themselves and probably start working on them right uh, no uh, i'm saying that a lot of students are getting trained through us they want to get into yeah. this field of data science what would one yes. single most important suggestion be for them oh ah, okay okay single most so, important uh, suggestion so i i want to say this for benefit of all the future students of yours okay no there are no guaranteed jobs or careers promised guarantees do not exist but there is huge potential for this and the first step is uh, uh, another thing is institute is only helping you to uh, uh, what should i say stale but there are it by yourself and that happens when you start doing your assignments given by institute when you start taking all those assignments seriously do it and in the middle of it when you are stuck and obviously your mentors are not available on phone because it is middle of the night or maybe you cannot call them and then you start breaking your head going online to check if a solution for this exists start using stack overflow and all and then finding your own way around that is when the data science scientist in you has started okay there are no ready made coders most of the coders code partially borrow most of it from stack overflow or github and adjust the code to solve their problems which is fine that is nothing wrong as long as you are able to solve the problem with a code written by you or available online and modifying it to solve the problem you are a data scientist in yourself but for doing even that you need to first arrive the, in those situations and those situations uh, you when you start doing these assignments on your own try your best not to go to your mentor or anyone and try to solve everything on your own that's when it happens that is what i did and that is what helped me and then when i started uh, uh, going to the projects also i could see that i was uh, ahead of the curve compared to many of my peers within my institute the only reason because the questions they were asking were questions i asked long ago and that is because i was doing all these assignments so if you are taking this course seriously and wanting to become a data scientist do that and automatically you will become ahead of others and then your body language shows and plays 
and automatically the, your interviewer also when you go to a company understands it he gets those vibes and that's how it happens for you more than you waiting for your institute getting you placed and all that's how it happens for me i cracked a walk in out of 40 odd people i was the only guy who cracked it that confidence came because i did some can do that wonderful and amazing ravi that last statement that you told was awesome out of 40 people i went to walk in and i was the only person who could crack it that speaks volumes about the confidence that you have carried along with you thank you so much ravi for sparing your time and thank you helping our students also understand how to prepare thank you all so much once again uh, friends for joining it and thank you ravi especially thank you thank you see you